they ain't really feeding you with the scriptures, all right? So therefore, you you bringing upon yourself double evil, man. Okay, all right. Okay, now to the point about uh proving, all right, that these Israelite women out here are technically, according to the scriptures, they can they're considered harlots, hoes, whore, excuse me, and uh adulterous. Okay, get that Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. And then from there, hop down to 30. Start at verse 15 and hop down to 30. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to reserve to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's right. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What's that verse? Uh... The verse 46 where it says it should be on for a sign upon you and the uh, see verse 46 yeah and they and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever upon thy seed forever all right so these curses is a is a way to i to identify who the israelites are in these days okay let me get a piece of the whole verse 30 on that chapter. Let me get this piece up. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter. It's a lot. Chapter 31. Verse 28. It says. Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers that I may speak these words in their ears and call heaven and earth to record against them. For I know that after my death, this is Moses talking about after he died, ye will utterly corrupt yourselves and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you and evil will befall you in the latter days. We are in the latter days. So this proven that them curses which are evil was going to fall on the nation of Israel in the latter days. Because ye will not, excuse me, because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. And Moses spake in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song until they were ended. Now, hop, uh, now go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 30. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 30. Yep. Thou shalt the rock and white. The trough. The trough and the white. Uh huh. And another man shall lie with it. Now, the curses is that that was going to fall on the, the Israelites was that what? you going to get you a woman, all right? But, uh, like back back in the days, the man used to get virgins, man. Your woman, if she wasn't, if she wasn't found a virgin, and you took her for marriage and you find out she wasn't a virgin, she could get put to death. All right, that's Deuteronomy chapter 22. Because we dealt with, uh, you had to prove it with the sheet. You place the sheet under them on the, on the wedding night and when they have sex to commence, uh, consummate the marriage to prove that she wasn't, uh, she wasn't defiled or she wasn't uh, a whore or whatever, all right? She, uh, it'll be the proof with the blood on the sheet. Better yet, go to it. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 22, start at verse 13, we're down to 21. All right. Now remember, the, the curse is that you're going to get you a woman, but another man have already laid with her. Okay? Read it. Now I'm just backing up my statement. I said, uh, showing where it is in the scriptures that we had actual laws. All right, that if a woman, if a man said, "Oh, I found her not to be a virgin after they only had sex or whatever," and she ain't able to prove her virginity, meaning the blood on the sheet. All right, that she was to get brought before the judges and stoned to death. Read that. Start at verse 13. Deuteronomy chapter 22. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 13. If any man take a wife and go in unto her and hate her and give 
occasional speech against her and bring up an evil name upon her and say, I took this woman and when I came to came to her, I found her not a, ma a man. A maiden. All right, it's maiden. All right, which is a, um, a marriageable age virgin. All right, keep reading. Which a virgin is only pertains to a woman. All right, not men are not considered virgins. They don't bleed when penetrating. Keep reading. Then, then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city of the gate. Uh huh. And the damsel's father shall say unto the elders, I gave my daughter unto this man to wife, and he hath hated her. And lo, he hath given occasion of speech against her. Basically, the guy, he he had. Basically got this woman. He thought she was gonna be a virgin, and whatnot, and then he found out she wasn't. So now he's like, "Yo, this 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 is a hole right here, man. This is uh this woman. She's not pure, you know." So he's speaking evil against. Her. Keep reading. And yet, yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity. All right, now this is if 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 the guy had lied. Keep reading because it's a judgment for that. And they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. Uh -huh. And the elders of that city shall take that man and chasten him. And they, and they shall merge him in a hundred shekels of silver yep. and give them unto the father of the dancer. So basically, and, and make it plain, the dude get his ass beat for lying on the woman now. All right? They flog his ass. All right, for, for basically, because we're going to read what happens if she wasn't a virgin, and he was right. She can get put to death. So he gets beat, one, for bringing shame upon her father's house, okay? So he gets the ass whooping, right? And then he has to pay the 100, 100, uh, 100 shackles to the father of silver. Keep reading. Because he had brought up an evil name upon a virgin of Israel, uh -huh. and she shall be his wife, that that may not put her away all his days. Uh -huh, keep reading. But if but if this is true, but if this thing be true, and the tokens of virginity be not found for the dancer, then they shall bring out the dancer to the door of her father's house, and the men of her city shall stone her with stones that she died. Yep. Because she had brought folly in Israel and played the whore in her father's house. And she played the whore. So that's what classifies you as a whore. Basically, alright, if you had dealt with a man prior, alright, go to uh, proof of that, go to Romans chapter 7, verse 2 and 3. Alright, this will label you an harlot. Okay. Romans chapter seven verse two. Wow. For for the woman which having a husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he liveth. That's right. Now what makes them husband and wife? It's uh through the act of sex. Marriage just means joined together by uh, uh sexual intercourse. All right. You you you're united through sexual intercourse. Okay. Hold that. Get up. Uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 3 to 6. The Lord gonna break it down. Matthew chapter 19, verse 3. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for, forever? I mean, for every cause? Yeah, because you had guys that was actually just, well, I don't want to deal with her anymore because I got tired of her, so I'm going to put her away. Nah, the Lord going to break it down. Okay, keep reading. And he answered and said unto him, them, have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. That's right. In the beginning, when the when the angels said uh Yahweh Shai, alright, 
by the order of the Heavenly Father gave the decree to create man, he created them both 